Hey everyone, welcome back. It is Tuesday. Today I uh, actually do not have a PSA reveal or a BGS reveal or any reveal. Uh, today's slightly different and I, I know you're probably thinking to yourself, then why the hell are you making a video? <laughs> well, I get a lot of questions right now on my Instagram in terms of um, a specific link to the tools that I'm using to inspect my cards with. So I thought it'd be good to just make a video, talk about it instead of responding to everyone individually. Um, that way you guys can all get the link at the same time and uh, kind of talk. Uh, I'll go through the journey as far as where I started and where I'm at as far as my setup goes. Uh, today is only about the, the inspection tool to look at edges, corners, and surface. Um, today's not going to be about cleaning. I'll do that in another video, but I'll try to keep this short. So um, I started a couple years ago with just uh, my eyes, and I realized my eyes are not that great. <laughs> so I decided to go on Amazon. I bought a super cheap like a jeweler's loop. One that one that's like ten bucks. It's handheld. It's got a little LED light on it. It had like a, I believe thirty X and a sixty X magnification. Two little glasses. And they were tiny, so you'd really have to like look at it like that. And um, it, it was awesome. It was great for the first three months or so. The only reason I decided to go somewhere else with it. Um, here's the link, by the way, or here's the picture of the the loop I actually used. But the only reason I decided to go in another direction is because the volume started becoming heavier for me as far as the amount of cards I was inspecting just because I started doing it for my friends. Um, so I upgraded, uh, in my opinion, I upgraded. It's not technically an upgrade. It's just more of comfort level. But I uh, upgraded to a digital microscope. So I'll show you guys that real quick. I'll turn it around. But um, that way I'll talk about some of the features, the costs and stuff like that and why I choose to use uh, the setup that I do. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Hopefully it helps. And then, um, yeah. Let's dig in. All right, so um, this is the microscope that I've been using for the last, uh, I don't know, year or so. It's been absolutely phenomenal. Um, I like it a lot. It's got an eight and a half inch screen. It's HD capabilities. Um, and also it's got a nice seven inch platform so you can slide the cards around. And uh, you know, overall it's, it's kind of just very basic and simple. So I'm gonna turn it on real quick. All right, and we'll take a look at a card. So like I said, uh, these microscopes I, I use strictly for edges, corners, um, surface and such. So I'll take a look and we'll do this one, pull it out there. And I like to use a little grippy pad just cause the, um, the plate itself, you can easily scratch cards. So I like to use something I can navigate. So let's look at this card real quick. It's a, 85 Tops McGuire that I haven't decided if I'm going to grade or not yet, just because here we are looking at it. So uh, once you pop it under, you can see it on the screen. And uh, what's nice about this too, that you can focus the um, clarity, obviously, get focus on this just by twisting a little knob. And obviously I unfocused it. So you find something that looks good to you. And then you can easily just move the card around on the plate, like I said, and you see on the, on the screen, it's nice and simple. And you can inspect all four corners, all the edges along the way, see if you spot anything. And it looks pretty good actually from the first around here. But, you know, to be sure, sometimes you never know, especially with old white border cards. Um, what I do love most about this microscope is the ability to turn it into a negative feature, because a lot of times it'll show up white, it's easier to see. So this particular card, as you can see all the way across, Probably one of the cleanest ones I've seen. Uh, I did pick it up raw. I bought everything raw for the most part outside of the crossovers. But um, like I said, super simple features, got dual light so you can check it out. Um, if you need it brighter, if you need it darker, there's also a light here that you can turn on and turn off to make it so it's just more clear for you. So cut and dry, uh, is this something that's necessary? Absolutely not. This is uh, This is kind of just, like I said, for comfort, as you guys can imagine, if you're looking through hundreds of cards, something like this is going to be a lot more functional for you than a loop. Also, it's going to be easier on the eyes and it's going to allow you to kind of get through a lot more in less time. And uh, one thing I don't like about this is the batteries. So it does plug in. You can actually, it's portable if you want it to be, um, but you can plug it into the wall. You can have it portable, but the battery itself, if you don't have it plugged in, only lasts for, I don't know, like 15, 20 minutes. So, um, that's this particular product. The link is in the description. And also here's the pic of it once again on Amazon. So we're going to go into my current setup now. Okay, so here is my current setup right now. 
<clears throat> I have a um, Samsung 27 inch curve monitor HDMI 1080p uh, and I have a Avon Cyclops digital microscope. Um, what I do like about this is obviously there's a remote so I can turn it on. Let me do that real quick. Okay, so once I turn this on, I believe it's hooked up to my monitor already. So I'll give it a sec. There you go. So I have this, obviously the screen is much different, much bigger. Um, and I have the same card over here. So what I do like most about this is the uh, bajillion lights that I can adjust the, the adjust the brightness or dim it or anything like that, depending on the card that you have, just because, you know, for refractors or uh, prism type cards, they tend to uh, have a lot of like glare. So that's one of the nice features. Second is that you saw um, focusing the card. So there's a simple auto focus button that I can push and it will adjust and find me the best focus. So third, obviously the most beneficial is just being able to see everything on the card, the plus and downside, right? So you can see absolutely everything on this particular card. Surface, um, you can see everything, pixels, blah, 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 blah. So I've had this setup now for a couple days, I'm experimenting with it, but I really, really like it. It gives me a lot more clarity than the like Live does. Um, this is not like a budget friendly setup by any means. This is a little bit uh, kind of ridiculous and unnecessary to be honest with you. But for me, I look at this as an investment um, just because you guys can see the cards that I send in and stuff like that. It really, it, it's, it's a self-funded kind of like cycle. Everything pays for itself and more. So um, as I continue to do this and try to improve my gem rates, typically I'm between uh, 90 and 100 and all my subs and stuff like that. So I want to continue improving that. But as you can see, as we get into this particular um, screen, you can see a little bit of a minor edge wear. Not that I think that's something that will be dinged, just because it is super minor. On top of that, this is blown up too, where you know you can see you can see everything, pixels, blah 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 blah. So overall, overall, um, you know, nice card, but easy access, um, easy visibility, easy features. This thing's fully automated, so I don't need to touch it at all. Um, fully adjustable, like I said, by itself as far as focusing goes, the lights, such, whatever you want to do. Um, so, yeah, I mean, this is probably where I'll end as far as um, upgrades go to my inspection tools. But uh, here's a link for this particular microscope. You guys can check it out. I got the uh, monitor at, like, Best Buy outlet for 100 bucks. Um, the microscope itself is a little bit more than that, but I hope you guys, uh, enjoy this. And, you know, like I said, none of this is necessary. I'm doing this because it's for the comfort of my, like body and my own sanity. Um, but a $10 loop works just as well. It's just a matter of preference, but this is how I inspect my cards, um, before I get into cleanings and stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoy. I hope this answers some of your guys' questions. Please feel free to DM me with questions and I will get to you as soon as I can. Have a good one.